Now it is a massive Sunday for Bangladesh. The country heads to polls on January 7th. The ruling party is seeking a fourth term. The opposition is boycotting the polls and the armed forces have been deployed to tackle any kind of situation that may rise. Today, our focus is on the voters. After all, they are the focal point of any election. Let's find out what Bangladeshi voters want from this year's election. Roughly 120 million people are registered to vote across the country. They have the option to choose between 28 parties and about 1,895 candidates are in the fray. It's important to mention here just 5%. Just 5% of these are women. Interestingly, these 5% represent over 50% of Bangladesh's population. That's the women population of the country. Wherever there are elections, voter concerns also follow suit. Bangladesh is no different. Let's look at some of the voter concerns the country faces at the moment. In most of the reports that we have analyzed, mounting cost of living has emerged as the biggest concern, followed by the high inflation in the country. It was reported to be at 12.56% in October, the highest Dhaka has witnessed in the past decade. People are also worried about power cuts and fuel price hikes. Not only this, voters from all strata of the society are also concerned about corruption and violence in the country. Historically, election time has been accompanied with a wave of violence. This year as well, at least 10 people have already lost their lives due to poll-related violence. And Amar Pottasha, Bangladesh. My desire is that democracy will return to Bangladesh. People of Bangladesh will freely exercise their voting right. Their freedom of speech will be ensured and the justice system will work independently. I also wish that no political party or the government will interfere with the constitutional institutions. The election has put Bangladesh's democratic values under question. While day-to-day -day issues remain a pivotal concern, Bangladeshis want their politicians to take notice of the country's democratic health. This as younger voters are demanding a break from the highly polarized political culture. I want to see Bangladesh as a democratic country with powerful institutions like the election commission and justice system. These have to operate with true independence. The democracy in Bangladesh can only change if the institutions are properly established. Otherwise, if this party leaves power and another one comes, the systems will still be in place. For decades, political battles in Bangladesh have been fought on the streets, often with violence and by parties led by two very powerful women locally known as the Battle of the Begums. But there are signs of a generational change where the youth is playing an important role. Remember, youth makes up one-fourth of the country's population. 